Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you're going to install an SSD onto your PC, okay? As you can see, so you need a SATA cable, okay? As you can see, there are three SATA cables here. So one is for the optical drive. This one is for the main HDD, which is this, okay? 500 gigs uh, WD. As you can see, this is a um, HDD mechanical hard drive. And this one is a solid state drive. Okay, all right. So you you need of a SATA cable. Okay, it's, uh, found a SATA cable. You can purchase that on uh, Amazon. Okay, so yeah. Before you do that, I'm gonna have to re-plug my um, NVIDIA graphic cards in there. Okay, and next uh, this. Alright, so just going in here. So you have to enter it. Alright, so as you can, <coughs> as you may have uh, heard the sound, you must, um, it must click, okay? And next, you should be able to see this, okay? So, the long one, you should uh, put it into your mechanical hard drive, and this one, okay, the short one, this, you want to insert it in the HDD, okay? Alright, so it must look like this, okay? As you can see, just plug it in, and uh, alright. So here we go. Now, just uh, just find a place to put the uh, SSD down below, and now we're gonna install our mechanical hard drive back. Alright, people. Alright, so we've done it. We have uh, six installs of SSD. So. I've not got any spaces, so I'm just gonna tuck this SSD in like this here, okay? And uh, we have to reinstall, uh, reinstall our NVIDIA graphic card, our mechanical hard disk, and the optical drive as well. And now all you got is to close the lid, right? So just close the lid, and I'm gonna. Put everything back and uh, um, boot it up. Okay. Okay. So uh, yeah, as you can see, I've uh, connect the power cable and the HDMI cable to give give me output. Okay. And now it's time to boot this machine and let's test this out. Alright. So as you can see, the machine is boot booting up. And you can see on the screen. And yeah, guys, as you can see for yourself, uh, I'm in the boot, okay, in the BIOS, the BIOS uh, boot menu, and in the boot sequence, and as you can see, it detects the boot sequence. Uh, first one is diskette drive, USB storage, okay, USB storage, CD, onboard, and IC, and the last one, as you can see, it is P1, Chinese, uh, SATA, C3. 128 okay 128 means it's uh, gigabytes okay 100 120 128 gigabytes SATA 3 all right so as you can see now all you have is to hit apply save and exit okay all right all right guys so uh, um we back on our computer okay so now after we have installing the ssd okay so if we go to this pc and here as you can see it don't detects the uh, ssd okay it only de detects the uh, local disk c okay there's no local disk d um this is uh my mechanical hard drive where all the windows and all my files are installed but 
there's no SSD. Okay, the solid state drive it isn't here. Alright, so there is a small workaround that you'll need to do. Okay, so I want you to click your uh, start menu here and just type in partition. Okay, just type in P A R T and just click this create uh, and format hard disk. And as you can see, uh, once you click it, you should get this in initialized disk. Okay, and here uh, this uh, this one as you can see don't uh, choose wisely because this zero is your main uh, uh, drive where Windows and all of your games such as Fortnite etc. Okay, as you can see, all my games are installed on this zero. Okay, so choose wisely. So as you can see, select this one. As you can see, you can also see the differences. As you can see, uh, this one 465 gigabytes and this one uh, 119 gigabytes. And uh, right now it says unallocated. So you gotta choose GPT here. Okay, just uh, select your disk. Okay, this is this one and choose the method as GPT. Okay, and hit okay. And now uh, just wait for it and here just click on the unallocated and right click new simple volume okay this wizard will uh, bring up so hit next and here always uh, uh, always uh, give it to the highest value okay as you can see just um, as you can see the maximum this space just put it as the same as the first one okay and here just click on next and here you can assign a drive letter okay so I'm just gonna stick with the drive D okay and I hit next okay format as NTFS okay default uh, new volume new volume um, here volume label here you can give it a name so i'm not gonna give that a name so um, all right so i'm just gonna hit next okay uh click perform a quick format okay hit next and click finish and as you can see right now it is formatting and give it a few seconds okay and boom guys as you can see here it says uh this drive d and it is healthy and basic data partition and now if we go to this pc okay as you can see here we have our main local disk c and now local disk d has been created okay Alright guys, so as you can see, the clone has uh, was completed and it took about uh, one hour. So now you wanna click OK and you wanna hit close. And here, as you can see, uh, if we go back to this PC, 
and here as you can see uh, local DC okay we have everything here okay and it has successfully cloned onto local disk D as well okay um yeah let's see it has copied even fortnite games as well has been cloned all right now what what you need to do is we're gonna restore this pc and we're gonna uh, restart it in bios uh settings okay in boot uh, bios boot menu and then we're gonna set the ssd to primary okay so we want the computer to to boot the windows from the ssd all right uh let's do a lot okay 